Hello, and welcome back to the Fine Tutorials. In this third episode, we're going to look at updating the content of a user interface. So far in our examples, we've constructed a user interface that has been static and we've not changed any of the values. Here we're looking at the hello world that was used for the first two tutorials. What we're going to make today is a clock that will tick and that means that we need to update the content of the label on a regular basis. So first of all, we're going to convert the hello world to have the content of a clock instead. We'll change the title of the window and we will take the hello world label out of the set content method. To be able to update the value or content of a canvas object or widget, we need to save a reference to that object. To do that, we will quite simply create a variable reference and then create uh, initialize the widget. It's as simple as that. Next, we want to show the time in that label to set it to a sensible initial value. I'll create a new method to do that for us because we'll be reusing it later. And I'll pass in the clock variable that we've created here so that we can avoid a global value. So we'll create the method that we're going to call. And the type that we'll pass in is widget.label. And that's so that we can access label specific functionality. Next, we want to make a formatted time. To do that, we'll use the time package. We will get now and use the helpful format function available on it where three is hours, four is minutes, and five is seconds. And for that to work, we will import the time package. So now we've formatted some text, we should set that onto the content of the label. And to do that, we will just call set text. and that will update the content of our label. Going back to our previous code, we will need to pass this clock content into the window content. So now we've created a new label, we're setting the time, and we're setting that to the content of our window. Now that's not very different to the hello world that we had set up before, and so we need to create a ticker that will update the content every second. We'll use the built-in functionality here in the time package. Because show and run runs our application, we need to be able to update the content on a background thread or go routine. So we will create a new one like this. That routine will run on a background thread, so the window will show and then this will execute. We will create the ticker. that should run every second. And then to execute code each time it ticks, we will range through the tickers channel using t.c like that and call our show time method. As you can see, we are using the same call as we did when we were setting up the display initially. So we save that file and see there are no errors to worry about. And from the terminal, we will now run that code and see what happens. So this is running, it's created a window that has the content of our clock label and that is updating once a second. Using the formatter, you can see the value is always being kept up to date from the ticker code. That's all for this tutorial. Come back for another one later on to find out more about the Find Toolkit.